Hello, everybody. It's Dark Side Phil. I need that money. money. To pay my bills. The electric bill. The internet bill. Stupid fucking trolls, man. I just want to chill. chill. I rock back and forth on the X and Y axis. Tip me. So I could catch up on back taxes. The changes. And what happened yesterday. Let's get this out of the way. Because quite frankly, I don't want to talk about this all day. I just want to get this out of the way. Answer any questions. And, uh, and by the way, do you like this border? I love this border. This is the border that was made in case Dead Space 1 had won the poll for the horror game I was going to play this week. Of course, we all know Evil Within 1, actually, uh, Evil Within Part 1 actually won the poll by a very small amount. So, anyway. Um, and, and not to say that I won't still play this. We'll talk about that in a second. Anyway. Um, so here's what happened yesterday. A bunch of trolls kept flagging my Stream Elements tips page. For, oh, Phil is a horrible person. Look at this video he did 13 years ago that proves he's a horrible person. Look, here's a podcast where he attacked someone who reported him for that 13-year-old video. So essentially what happened was trolls kept spamming Stream Elements with bullshit reports. And Stream Elements took a look at the situation and was like, so this is a guy who we don't make any money off of. He just uses our product and, you know, we don't benefit from it. And now we're getting spam reports on him. Let's just turn it off. So they did. So they turned off the tips page. This is literally exactly what happened with Streamlabs last year. These businesses don't make money on their business. I know that sounds weird. There are people who actually pay for subscription-based models for Streamlabs and Stream Elements. I was not one of them. So when they're going to look at that situation, and they're going to be like, so we're getting spammed with a bunch of shit about this guy being negative. Um, and we make no money on him. What incentive do we have to keep this guy, you know, in our program here? We're just going to keep getting spammed. This is annoying. So they turned it off. All right. And it's bullshit. It's literally what happened with Twitch last year. Remember when Twitch kicked me out of their partnership program? Same exact situation. So if anything, these businesses, I hate to say it, are incredibly unprofessional. Because it doesn't matter in reality, you know, how you're making a fortune on someone or not. If you have a business set up, it's supposed to be equal treatment of everyone. It's not supposed to be this person gets preferential treatment, this person gets terrible treatment, depending on how we feel and, and the level of harassment that, that, that's on the internet about them. It's nonsense. It's unethical, immoral, you know, it's everything you can think of. Is it illegal? No. And that's the catch here. The catch is it's perfectly legal to do what they did. Um, it's within their discretion uh, to do that. And... It is what it is. Because some people are like, I don't understand. There's other people who use stream elements who are known for doing horrible things. They've been involved with scams and other things. Yeah, but they didn't get mass reported. It's, it's all it is. If, if you start getting annoyed, that's it. Can't take it. You know, that's what's happened with my sponsorships and everything in the past. I get a positive sponsorship. Within a day, I get dropped because the trolls go and harass the sponsor. So, that's why I keep telling you guys. Sadly, uh, I just can't... Uh, do these kind of opportunities and things that other people do, all right? So yesterday, after the Stream Elements page disappeared, I looked at some alternate options of things that I could do, all right? Option number one would be to use another service. And I started looking at other services, but sadly, they're just not very good. For example, there's one that's based in Europe, but they don't just... For example, let's say you were to send me a tip through this service. It would see the same thing that Stream Elements and Streamlabs had. It would be my own page. You click on it, you send a tip they would have held the money in limbo in some weird account that they own. And then when you choose to withdraw it, you can. But that doesn't seem to be very safe. Like, what if they just decide to say, oh, we're turning your account off and keeping your money? What do you do now? How do you sue a European company, right? In addition to that, they take a fee. And I'm like, I don't want them taking a fee of my money. It's crazy, you know, I need my money to run my business. And we're taking fees and stuff, obviously. You know, I can't be doing this. So it didn't make sense. To do those. I looked into a few of them. There's two or three of them. They're very similar. All right? Last night, when I did my Friday Night Fights old school fighting game stream, all I told everyone was, hey, if you want to support the stream, just go to your PayPal and you can send a tip to darksidefillahotmail.com. And that worked. There's people who sent multiple tips, <clears throat> and it was a very supportive stream, and I'm very appreciative of that. Okay? I appreciate those who did support the stream last night. But during that stream, <clears throat> someone actually reached out to me and was like, are you aware there's something that's fairly new uh, that was done on, on PayPal to make this way easier. Rather than people having to manually have a PayPal account and then log in manually and send tips that way, you could create a PayPal page that everyone could just click on 
and then immediately send a tip through that. And I was like, no, I was not aware of that. And I made one last night. And you'll now see it's now it's pinned to the top of the chat if you're live on stream right now. Or if you type exclamation point tip into the chat, the link will pop up. Or if you look at the description of this video, the description of this stream, I've also put that information into the description of everything moving forward. Okay? So, you can now tip via that link. All right? The only difference between that link and the way that it used to be. All right? Be between, between the D, you don't know what you're talking about. Seriously, these people are just trying to be shitheads. Anyway. <clears throat> um, basically, uh, the way I was going to... Now I got distracted by this person who doesn't know what the fuck they're talking about. I'll even address that because people don't know what they're talking about. Okay. Um, the only difference between tipping this way and the old way is that I have to manually shout these out. Not to say that I didn't do that before. I did. But there will be no on-screen pop-up automatically. Essentially, what will happen is I will be monitoring, just like I used to, a queue. And when, uh, you know, a contribution comes in via a tip, I will shout it out when I get a chance on my stream. And at that time, when I'm shouting out the contributions and updating the leaderboard, I will play the animation manually. That's the only difference. Literally, everything else is the same. So don't listen to these morons who are literally making shit up. Like, for example, oh... Well, now, if you tip via this method, now all your personal information is now exposed on the internet and all that. It's exactly the same as the last method. It really is. There's no difference. <laughs> Before, you were using stream elements to send me a tip. Now, you're just using PayPal directly. There's no middleman. It's the same data that gets sent to me. There's no difference here. So if you already tipped me previously, there's nothing changing. It's just that there's no automatic pop-up because that's what stream elements was doing. Okay? Now, I will say this. Okay? <clears throat> If you're going to tip via this method, and thank you in advance to anyone who does, because I need tips, and I'll explain all this in a moment, why this is a big concern. Um, if you do tip via this method, be sure to put your message in the, the tip you're sending. It's not like it used to be where you have to put it in the stream elements page. It's kind of the same. It's just, it's just a PayPal page instead. But also, be sure to put the name you want me to address you by. All right? Um, if you don't put a name, like, for, I'll give you an example. I'm looking at the stream right now. 672 is in the chat. So, if you're going to send me a tip, you click on that button, you put in your data, you say, this is 672, and I just want to say good luck today, and here's some support. There you go. And then I'll read it out, I'll say, ah, 672 tipped me, $6.72. He says, good luck today, here's some support, and then I'll click the animation, put him on the leaderboard. That's how it works, okay? <clears throat> so, there you go. Pretty simple. Not complex at all, anyway. And, uh... There you go. Now, is it annoying that I have to manually play animations from now on? Yes, it is. Absolutely it is. All right? But also, is it also annoying that I have to manually update my leaderboard and I don't have my leaderboard automated because of trolling? Yes, it is. It's like I could just sit here and tell you a million reasons why I have to do things differently from everyone else because of trolling, but I just push forward positively and I don't let it beat me. Right? <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? So, there you go. Now, you might say, why is this such a big deal, you know, with the tips and everything? Because I explained this la uh, last year. I've explained it over the course of this year. Here's the deal. As of last year, all right, when I was on Twitch in their partner program, I had actually established myself on Twitch for about four and a half years. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I had built up a following big enough that between the number of subscribers that I had and the level of super chats and, and, and not super chats, they were called like cheers over there the level of cheers and everything that I had coming in, essentially, I was building that up to the point where tips weren't going to be that big of a concern anymore, okay? Tips were important at one point because of trolling and other things hurting my income, and the tips were the immediate support for my business back then. But I got to a point where I was going to be good, and I even said to you guys, wow, the light at the end of the tunnel, I'm seeing it. If things keep going well in 2021, then by the end of this year, maybe I can afford stuff and do all this stuff, you know what I'm saying? Um... So there you have it, and then what happens? The concerted effort against me last year began, got kicked out of Streamlabs, got kicked off of Teespring, got kicked out of the, the Twitch Partner Program, literally for nothing. It was for things 10, 13 years ago, okay? So when that happened, I uplifted my streaming from Twitch to YouTube, and here I am, and I've been here for the last year and a half, and I want to say thank you 
to those who support my efforts here. It is very different here on YouTube. There's both pros and cons. We've talked about these in the past. I don't really want to go into uh, a crazy amount of my podcast about this today. But essentially, it's a lot different. And sadly, there's just people who don't want to come watch streams on YouTube. So I lost a, a big portion of my viewer base. I lost a chunk of support that I used to have. So what ended up happening was I got to make up for that. I need to still pay my bills. I have to still afford my mortgage, pay my car, my insurance, taxes, everything. How do I do that if I have a lost amount of income? So what I did is I compensated for that with tips. I started making tiered tips goals. Raise $50 on a stream and put on gunner glasses. Raise $100, put on a silly hat. $150, bucks, put on a vest or a football jersey. And I used that increase in tip revenue to supplement the fact that I had lost a lot of money from having to leave Twitch, okay? So there you go. That's, that's what was going on. And basically, it's worked. And what I mean by that is it's enough to supplement and keep me afloat. But things are very tight, meaning sometimes it's week to week, paycheck to paycheck, day to day with tips to help me afford stuff. You know, paying bills, uh, going grocery shopping. You know, every week I tell you it's my day off and literally my tips this week are what buy my groceries this week, right? So, all that being said, okay, that's why tips are so important to me. Because some people yesterday were like, well, if the tips are such a big problem... Why, uh, why are you even doing them, right? Like, what's, what's the big deal? Um, well, it is a big deal. It's a huge deal because I need tip support. If I don't have tips, I literally cannot pay anything during, a, like, a normal uh, week. You see what I'm saying? So, I can't just give them up. Theoretically, if everyone just stopped tipping and everyone did super chats, super stickers, and memberships, that would be that would work, but it would only work long term because there's a delay between when someone does those things and when I get anything for it. For example, today is October 1st. We're starting a new month here on YouTube. We have a new members goal. We have all this stuff set up, all right? If you become a member today, thank you so very much for your support of the channel. I will see a benefit from that at the end of next month, okay? The end of next month. <clears throat> Okay. <laughs> All right. So, so here we go. Here come the trolls. Here come the idiots. We're going to have a lot of trolls today due to the nature of what today's stream is going to be, just so you guys know. It's going to be a lot of trolling today. There's nothing that can really happen. Uh, there's nothing that can that can uh, be done about that. I already spoke with my moderators. And uh, they should be coming by. I'll see if I can get some of the swing by now. Because obviously they're not here right now. Right? <laughs> okay. Okay, it looks like, let's see here, hold on, because I didn't get an email here about it, I'm trying to figure this out, keep in mind this is a whole new system. Why am I not seeing an email here about it? I got it here. Where did the email go? Am I going to get them here? Oh. Hold on. I know this has been annoying. I agree. I agree with you. You don't want me doing this on the fly, but I didn't know this was going to happen. Okay. Okay. So it looks like this is what I need to do now. Okay. Actually, this is better. This, if this is going to work this way, this will actually be better uh, for me. Let's see what happens when I do this. Okay. 
Okay, so this is how it's going to work moving forward. Got it. The only bummer is now I can't go back. Uh, how do I go back? There? All right, hold on. I just got to set it up differently. I thought it, I thought I was going to get a notification via one method. I don't. I get it via another method. Because, remember, yesterday, people were tipping me directly to my PayPal. Now they're using the new link. The first person just used the link. <clears throat> okay? <clears throat> the very first person just used the link. And, uh, which is awesome. Yeah. All right, so, first tip ever coming in via this method. Let's do it. <clears throat> so this is from... Now, by the way, again, I want to say something. If you want me to t say your name on stream, you have to tell me what you want to be called when you tip me moving forward because it's not automatic, okay? So, for example, this person did not put their name. So I'm not going to say their name. I'm going to say from an anonymous tipper. But if you actually tip and you want me to say your name, you must include your name in the message. Okay, so, our first tip today is an anonymous $10 tip. Thank you very much, the anonymous $10 tipper for the support. I appreciate that very much. And the anonymous $10 tipper says the following. I want to pitch an idea for a future marathon. How about a marathon where you revisit some of your most disliked games you did on YouTube, cut off of the year being 2018? 